everyone this is Angie at Stampin with Amora and today I'm sharing this super cute little um, banner box actually it's a belly band I don't know why I said banner but it's a belly band box but I'm using our new thin lids which are called so detailed I love this look at how gorgeous the detail on these are all right so the the um, frame lists that we're using are these so detailed and I want to show you because they're absolutely gorgeous so here's the one that we're going to use and then they have two other ones this one is gorgeous for a wedding card I'll probably do a video making a shower or a wedding card out of this because it's so, so beautiful so we're using that and that's kind of the star of the show and then to make the box I'm going to use our um, gift box punch board now the one I have is uh, not the stamping up but stamping up does carry it and you can order those on my shop at stampingwithamarike.com and the stamp set that I'm using is the so in love and I'm using this little border right here and then I'm going to use the just for you and this is really pretty too I bet that would be really so in love it'd be really pretty in there and actually I think I might use that one this time because I am kind of making it with little hearts on it and it could be a Valentine present and I'm also changing the colors up a little bit so let me grab that one and I'm going to try that one on this project these are absolutely so pretty I love the cursive writing on this the fonts really pretty so let me change it up and I'm going to uh, use this one so I'm going to line it up so I can get it on my block straight and we're ready to go all right so now for this project you are going to need a piece of 8x8 eight eight, and I'm using a black basic black base this time and then um, you're going to need a piece of um, melon mambo and this is going to be for our little detailed um, banner and then you're going to need a piece that's one and one quarter by seven of designer series paper. This actually has the Melon Mambo and it also has the black and white on the back. And it's from our Pop of Pink Specialty Designer Series paper. It's really, really pretty. And I think I've shown it to you before. And then this is also the same Pop of Pink Designer Series specialty paper. <laughs> and we only need four of these. So these are three by one and five eighths, and we're going to mat the box with this. And then just a piece of Whisper White for your sentiment. So that is everything. So let me bring up the punch board. And this is such an easy and quick way to make a box. So if you don't have one of these, they're awesome so for this one I'm going to let me grab my little use an 8 by 8 piece and then we're gonna line it up on the large edge right here so just line it up and we're going to punch it and then what you do is you just run down this vertical line right here and then across horizontally and you just follow these little arrows so then we're going to turn it and we are going to punch it again and then do the same down and make sure you get your thing in the little groove and then turn it again we're going to do it on all four sides line it up to the L which is large Go down and across and then one more time and then down and across oops got off track there so hopefully you can see that we have it all scored and ready to go now we can't we're not finished because what we have to do is totally flip this over and we're going to line up again to that large and we're just going to punch so this is going to create, you're going to have two at each top where it's scored. So you want to have two punches.
punches on each side just like that all right I'm going to scoop this all out of the way and we are ready to I'm gonna go ahead and just sharpen all the score marks really quick so it is important to have these all scored because it's a box and these two sides are a little bit larger so what we're going to do is actually I don't think they are they just look a little larger I don't think they are I think they're even we're just going to you can do either side this way you can go down and we're just going to cut down to that first score mark and just cut on the scoring lines and then if you want to the punch board has another side here and it will like reverse punch it has a little like hook I just don't like using it because it doesn't hold really well or, or else it holds too well and this belly band is going to hold your box together so you don't need to really do that so I'm going to use fast fuse use a strong adhesive and you're going to put adhesive on all four corners where you um, cut because these are going to be our little tabs to fold in so make sure you use something strong to hold your box together I'm going to mat this after we get this together so you're going to just pull them up whoa I wanted to take hold before I was ready Make sure you line them up straight. In fact, I'm going to keep that one out so it doesn't mess up. And then there you have your box. Now this would have where the little hook things are where you can just kind of interlock them. I just really don't like using them. So we're just going to depend on the belly band to hold it tight. You can also use a tiny glue dot if you want to hold this box closed. Um, but make sure you put your goodies in it first. I'll go ahead and just grab one really quick and I'll show you how quick it's, this works. You can put a little magnet here if you want. Anything to hold it closed. It's just all up to you. I think this is just a quick easy way and they're going to open it anyway, but see it'll hold it closed. So we're going to go ahead and grab our matting pieces and I'm just going to use some snail hair and I'm going to just mat all these pieces. Okay, so we have it all matted. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside and bring up the big shot so I can show you how to use the framelit or the thinlet. So on this one, I'm using our make, our multi-purpose platform to the two, on the two, and then I'm using our precision platform. Now this is the key to cutting out these um, really detailed shapes. And then I'm going to put down my Melon Mambo and my little detailed, what I'm calling banner. And we're just going to send that through. And I'm just going to go as far as over it and then I'm going to just come back. Only because I have limited space here. I think you could be fine doing it one time. And then I'm going to show you a really quick trick to getting these out because the, it is super detailed. Let me move this out of the way. And I love this for it. And this is our um, little, this has a little sponge on it. And then we have a little brush. This comes as a kit. And I can't even think of the name of it. I'll put it in the video if I can remember. But you just take it and run it over this whole thing. And it's amazing how well this thing works. It's a lifesaver. I don't like picking them out, every little piece out. And just think about picking it out of this. And you might have one or two stuck in there, but look at how gorgeous. It comes out so perfectly. So 
And that's a really nifty little tool to have. And something's stuck to here. I'm just going to leave it. And then for this piece, this is going to attach to our detailed banner here. And I'm going to get my scoring tool and we're just going to do a couple scores on this. So we're going to score this at one and one quarter on both sides. No, it's one and three quarters, I'm sorry. One and three quarters on both sides. So I just did one and three quarters and turned it and again at one and three quarters. Forgot there for a minute. And then we're going to just fold this. And I'm going to add the adhesive to the ends of this. And make sure you have it on the right side. And then you're just going to add it up to the edge. You don't want to see it. So you're just attaching it there. And then I just gently fold over the edges like that. So you're going to have your belly band just like that. So let's grab the box and we'll just go ahead and slide it on. I really think this is really elegant looking with the black. It's really pretty. And then I'm going to stamp our sentiment. First I'm going to stamp the little frame. And then I'm going to stamp that sentiment that's so in love center of it. Hopefully I'm going to center it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I did pretty good for not being over the top of it. <laughs> and then we are going to have to fussy cut this, but it's no big deal. It's super straight and easy. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll speed up the video so you don't have to be bored with it. We have our sentiment and super quick and easy to cut out as you can see. And then I'm going to grab a dimensional and add the dimensional to the back. And we're going to just pop it up in the center here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of my rhinestones and on the bigger flowers I'm using the bigger rhinestone and on the smaller ones I'm going to use the smaller if I can get them on here so I'm just using putting them in the center of the flower didn't center that very well let's put this one on here it's a bigger And it really, really dresses it up. It's so pretty. So that's it, everyone. So quick and easy, and it's they're really, really pretty and elegant. So if you need any supplies for this project, you can go to my blog as usual at stampingwithamore.com and you can order right from my blog. And also if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will catch you in the next video. I'll see you later everyone. Bye.